All right, y'all, so I just ran into this shortleaf pine here. This is a fairly rare tree nowadays because uh, it needs fire in order to be able to reproduce. So you don't see it as much as you used to because there's so many uh, fire suppression activities going on nowadays. The, they don't typically let forest fires run. So a good way to identify these, it has these big, thick plates. So I've got a ruler here. So that'll give you an idea of about how big the plates are on it. Um, Virginia pine has plate-like bark like this as well, but it's never quite as big and blocky as what this is. All right, I'm gonna take a moment here and point out these little tiny holes in the bark on the side that are kind of volcano shaped. That's another uh, characteristic that's a good way to identify a shortleaf pine. Those are actually called resin pockets and it is something you're gonna see on every shortleaf pine. Um, and if you look at the, the bark from the sides, it, it reminds me like if you, uh, if you tossed a book in the fire and let the edges get all burn up, kinda, kinda looks like that. It's all kinds of uh, paper thin layers that kind of look like burn edges of like a book or something. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, so this is a, a branch that's fallen out of the tree and it's two needles per bundle. Typically, I think maybe it can have three on some instances, um, but the needles are relatively straight. Whereas Virginia pine uh, the needles will look twisted, like you were to grab them at the end and just kind of twist them a half turn. Um, and that would be a Virginia pine. But it's a big, mature shortleaf pine here, so kind of a neat pine.